Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back for uh, to my China campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4, um, Waking the Tiger. And where we last left off, we were going for, we were attempting a uh, encirclement and it's strange because like they're attacking in at the same time as I am. Oh, there we go, there we go. Alright, we're, we're good now, we're good. Start putting the squeeze on them. And the puppet forces, we're just going to delete that, and we're going to use you for this encirclement. Very nice. We're having a little bit of trouble on the peninsula, but they are getting a consistent flow of supplies, so that's going to be a bit harder. Come on, come on. Just accept it, guys. Stop fighting. Are all 24 of these divisions ready? No, they're not. There we go. We've got him now. Really? Yes, once again, let's take a look. Check in on the casualties now. 1.2 million. We'll see what it looks like after the encirclement. Well, I'm carrying China on my back. <laughs> All of my, my three puppets, they don't get involved. It's just me. It's just me. But it's showing. That's why I... That's why I'm the real China. I'm the one who's bearing this burden. I don't ask them to. Well, I ask their military to. Hence the, re the requesting of forces. We're a long way from Korea, though. Heck, in some ways, we're still a long way from Beijing. But I think we can go to five speed. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. No, 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 no. I'm seeing some red here. I think these guys are about to get encircled. But that's okay because we're all we're going to finish messing with this pocket and then all my units are going to redirect over here. Yeah, they got surrounded. I could ferry some over. I've got the I've got the convoys for it. To break them out of that pocket in East Hebe. Hebe, Hebe. There we go. More Soviet divisions? Don't mind if I do. There goes France. Jeez, it's December of 39, France. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm wondering if Japan's just running out of equipment. That's the point that they've reached. Alright, let's use some of these command points and go on the offensive. Force attack. Now, there is a focus that uh, reduces the cost of force attack to me, I think, by 75%. It's something pretty something pretty ridiculous like that. Um, but I don't know if we're going to go down that, that, far, that far down the tree. Alright, enough with the improving relations. We've maxed it out, and we should be able to hold on to it until we get the Flying Tigers. After we get the Flying Tigers, yeah, now I'm starting to see why maybe I should have just grabbed Republicanism. Because I would need this to start going towards Control Yuan anyway. Yeah, we're going to take a little detour. We're going to take Republicanism. The concept was interesting, I uh, but I should have done that. that. That probably should have been more for, like, if I wanted the Soviet Union to help me. Because... When I take republicanism, they're permanent, the uh, the assistance that they're going to give me. Incidentally, I wonder if I can get Germany to like me. <laughs> what is their opinion of me at the moment, I wonder? It's just minus 10. Okay. We got a lot of reorganizing to do here. Uh, first, let's get my best army, my top men. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna move some more into them because uh, we have lost a couple. Let's delete those orders. Put you exclusively on this front line. Whoops! No 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 no. Right here. Right here. We'll do that. 
More encirclements. The encirclements are really adding up for Japan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all that infantry equipment. Are these guys all done? Good. So, what we're going to start doing um, is creating a home defense theater. Just to guard the coast. It's going to be a uh, very low priority, of course. And we actually are going to use the garrison order, believe it or not, uh, for these. I know, I know, garrison's not as good. Um, but that's just all we're going to do with them. Let's give them some field marshal. doesn't really matter who. Um, and then we're going to eventually be able to start pulling these guys off. we got army three here who needs new insignia. As for army number one... I think we can switch them all over. Yes, very much so. And one of them's still a veteran. Good. Uh, as for you guys, you're not assigned anywhere at the moment. We're going to put these, these nine divisions in charge of securing this peninsula. Yeah, I should have just done republicanism. I was doing so well. I guess I was nervous. I wanted the assistance earlier. It wasn't really needed at all. We've almost taken back Beijing. Which will be a great moral victory for us. And once we're done with republicanism, we can grab the flying tigers. We, we can now, but I mean, we can do it even without republicanism. But I want to do that. Once we've driven out Japan, we'll we'll start thinking about becoming a democracy. How far actually do I have to go? Because the thing is, um, there's more to this tree than just the four separate ways. There is eventually the renegotiation of the unequal treaties. Uh, for which I'm going to need to come down here to modern logistics. And the, but and again, this is the kind of stuff that's going to happen after the war. Uh, this focus currently has no effect. Hmm. Things are looking good. I'm probably still being way too cautious. <laughs> One thing at a time. Like dealing with these divisions. If we can break through to their naval base while these divisions are occupied, they'll starve. Even the tanks. Uh, should we go towards infiltration? More breakthrough and soft attack is pretty good. Yeah. Alright, force attack, go! Go, 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 go! Let's see, five here. Good. Yeah, can we actually mass convert all of these? Not quite, we're pretty short on support equipment to be doing something like that. We're in 1940, and I, I just want to say, though, I'm not feeling any sort of a lag, um, which usually by the 1940s, I, I feel at least a little bit. Not so here, though. And we're getting a bunch of our factories back, which is extra nice. Okay, we're done with Republicanism. Let's get those flying tigers! Because you gotta have the flying tigers. You got to. Alright, force attack, go. Oh gosh. Force attack there. That's what I mean by force attack. Go, 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 go. You've only got seven days of this. And we'll have cleared Tsingtao. It's just a matter of time now. How are they looking? Let's um, expand this garrison order as we continue to move up the coast. 
Just keeping an eye out for those naval invasions. I could have repelled them, but I don't know why the Japanese didn't do it. That's, that is going to be a mystery for me for quite a while. Um, no idea. Very strange. Can we start making our way over to Port Arthur? Or are we going to be stretched too thinly? Actually, I think this is a good opportunity to um, actually start dividing my line in half. Right here. You're going to start going towards Korea. And you guys are going to deal with the puppets. And my puppet forces are just kind of scattered around the line. Uh, what to spend it on next? What to spend it on next? Why can't I do this? Controls. Liao Tong. Uh, Liao Tong. Where, where is that? That's up here in the north somewhere, right? Yeah, right here. Okay, once I take this, I can get some industry research going on. Uh, but until then, I might just not do anything. Or, let's get, yeah, the, the Hanyan arsenal. Let's grab this, uh, because I'm about to start researching infantry equipment again. Once I'm done there. Oh, no, 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 we got it. Oh, geez, he got surrounded. Those were puppet, puppet forces. All right, relieve them, please. Relieve them. All right, better. Now, what are we going to do with these guys? I could research, uh... <laughs> I could research some naval invasions. But no, we won't. This has been terrific. I gotta say, I'm, I'm very pleased with how this has gone. Um, fall of Cairo. Wow, Italy must be beginning to run wild. Now remember, we're going for the achievement Awaken Angry, so I gotta take Manchuko and Korea to force the surrender. Alright, force attack again. Having a little bit of trouble right here south of the river. That's no, because it's just one division attacking. Alright, keep going, keep going. Wow, we couldn't break through. Couldn't break through in those seven days. Actually, we're just about to. Less than a day. Alright, we, we, took, we took a little bit of land, but he got wounded for his efforts. So you see, for those who don't know, when you're wounded, all the leader skill bonuses get cut in half, and they can't use their combat abilities, so kind of sucks. Okay, let's just, yeah, keep, keep working on that. Flying Tigers should be here. Um, I don't think there's any need for the Sino-American Cooperative. I can't do Lado Road either, though, because it needs the hump. So I need I need to take all this and that to come down here to Modern Logistics. I'm not interested in Scorched Earth tactics. I don't want to mess with my party until after the war. We could start doing the welfare things. To help my, uh, yeah, to just, just start going down towards rural school schooling. I definitely have a few options available to me. Fighter, pur oh, fighter purchases, yeah, that's what we need. Uh, should is there so is there gonna be a vent pop up for the flying tigers? That's what I'm wondering. Flying Tigers, of course, were a very, very famous Chinese, uh, well, they were an American expeditionary force that was sent to China uh, under uh, Chenault, who, with an earlier focus I now have available to me here, clearly Chenault. And uh, they're really famous because they had the shark face on their 
their uh, <laughs> their planes, and yet they were called the Tigers, which is a little weird when you think about it. Why weren't they the Flying Sharks? Um, <laughs> just because of that. Like, why didn't they paint Tigers? Uh, there wasn't very many of them, of course. Very few. Very few. Um, I've heard, though, you know, the reports... It's really hard to keep track of what was what did and didn't happen during the Chinese Civil War and the Sino-Japanese War, because so much of it's propaganda on both sides, but, like, I've, I've heard claims that the Flying Tigers shot down Japanese pilots 10 to 1, for example. Um, they didn't lose very many pilots. Very, very few. Probably barely over a dozen. So they were a very successful fighter group. Hmm. Okay, the key is to keep attacking with the in with the uh my engineer forces. Oh, you see, here's the problem. We've got the same color matching. Uh, let's change you to a yellow. This is why I keep mixing up the units. Who's who? More volunteers from the Soviets. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're holding on tight right here. On these mountains. Why can't I break through? What's so dang hard? Is it just the terrain? Yeah, minus 60%. 60% because of the rain. Alright, we're going to wait on that. It's going to be a little hard to get through those mountains. Whoops. Don't need to keep trading so much. Get those factories back and keep trading with the U.S. for aluminum. Right, let's see if we can swing around to Port Arthur. Uh-oh, we got uh, we got one more unit than we actually need here. Um, let's move you here. Oh, yeah, I still haven't done anything with you guys. Um, we're going to put you right here. Very good. Very good. How are my garrison people doing? Let's just get them all along this coastal area here. And we've already got the new... We got artillery 2. That's probably as high as we're going to go for a pretty long time. Um, and now it's back to infantry equipment. Still, still in the <laughs> longer than it would even take on average to research some of these things. Okay, here's what we're going to do to encircle these guys. We are going to attack them right here because there's no mountains. It's just hills. Much easier. Okay, they got a little bit over eager as I can see here and uh, <laughs> kind of got overrun. Oh, all my convoys are gone. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to change who I'm trading with here soon. Yep. Can't trade with the U.S., so I guess they're spending their navy on that. Oh, here come the naval invasions. Yep, there's one coming in the south. Uh, but we'll, we're, we'll trade with Hungary. Hungary has tons of aluminum. Ton upon ton. There we go, got another encirclement. What are the Japanese casualties up to? Over 2 million combined for the Greater East Asian Sphere. Again, Japan still has deep, deep, deep reserves. Do we want to help, get from help from anyone else just for fun? I can get a couple naval dockyards. Maybe build some submarines or something, but... See, the hump... The hump, this was when um, the Burma Road got cut off temporarily. Uh, and then what the Americans and British began to do was um, they began to just fly the supplies over the Burma Road instead of, uh, you know, using the road. Okay. Uh, so what are we going to do next here? Have I gotten rid of the incompetent officers? Oh my gosh, you guys have probably been screaming at the screen. I just noticed I have not gotten rid of the incompetent officers. Even though I had tons and tons of uh, army experience. Speaking of which, how are we doing on artillery? Not too much. 
left. So what we're going to do is duplicate, create that classic 7-2, and we'll slowly begin to uh, change some of the divisions over. I'll rename this later when I actually begin to uh, give them proper names. For now, let's give them um, the skull. The skull and the infantry helmet logo. Okay. So this gives me one factory. This gives me one factory. This gives me a design company. Not really the funnest stuff. Uh, Bureau of Science and Investigations, no. Oh, War of Anti-Imperialism. That'll help speed the end of things. I probably could end the war right now if I just went to the AI battle plans really quickly, but I don't want to. We're in no rush here. In no rush at all. Okay, let's get you guys right here. Oh, they puppeted Finland. Poor Finland. Poor Finland. Okay. Let's build it there. And... Start heading after Puyi. Oh, they look, see, there's still one little slice of China that Japan occupies. Just right there in East Hibi. What skill level is this guy at? Um, what is he up to? He's up to five at least. Gonna hit six anytime soon? He's at one percent. He just hit five. Jeez, that Sun Tzu Reborn is definitely a World Conquest achievement, I'm thinking. They just don't call it that. <laughs> or maybe it's an achievement you get while you're also trying to get the uh, Scraping the Barrel. Wow, they're actually pretty well fortified here. Um, then again, I am just attacking them with my puppets, not my proper infantry. Now, can we convert everybody here over? No, not quite enough support equipment. Alright, force attack! Come on! Yeah, I still don't have control of Ling Fuo. I probably should quit putting that off and just do it already. Uh, also, where are my new planes? I should have more, right? Didn't I buy them? Logistics, barely have any. Um, is this it? Is this really all I've got? Hmm. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Tank designers, no. Army regrouping's nice. Yeah. Army regrouping. So what is the province I have to hold? Okay, here, uh, Liao Tung, or which is the one I need for better industrial research? I need uh, Liao Tung. All right, so this is the province I have to control, so I probably should begin to prioritize it. Where did these guys' divisions go? Did, was there an encirclement that I missed? And now I'm missing resources. Oops. Are we good? No, we're not good. There. Uh, construction. Are we just repairing things right now? Yeah, there's, there's no need for that. Uh, what we're instead going to do is build some more military factories down here. And then after that, some more here as well. I wonder how long I've been repairing those. I guess it's good so though I don't, th that way I don't suffer attrition. All that delicious army experience. I could do. I could still take emergency factory conversion, although there's really no need need for it. Oh, you know what I could do is I can go to total mobilization and then offset it with women in the workplace. On the other hand, I'm gonna probably be at peace here pretty soon. Relatively soon. 
Yeah, they're starting to crumble everywhere. Um, let's make sure we have a, a line drawn. I'm feeling so confident. I'm actually considering uh, upgrading my infantry equipment after all. Yeah, we're going to do that. Famous laugh. <laughs> Hope that doesn't turn out to be a horrible decision. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about the steel. I need a lot more of it now. More civilian factories going to the Russians. Okay, War of Anti-Imperialism is done. So, um, as much as I don't like it, I want to get down here to modern logistics. Wait, this will take one, two, three, four, five to get here. But if I took another one, how long would it take? Like if I went one, two, three, four, five. Either way, it would take five, but I can get help from more people. 100 old light tanks from our supporter. One, two, three, four, five. France has already capitulated. Well, it'll be fun, right? Get missions for more people. Chinese general staff, new planning level. This can lead to the Soviet volunteers. One, two, three, four, five. What else could I do with five focuses? One, two, three, four, five. I can get most of welfare complete in that same amount of time. So I don't really... I really don't see the point of... I don't need all this air production stuff. It's unnecessary. Tanks, though. Tanks sound fun. Uh, but then I also have to spend the political power. Yeah, let's, let's, um... Let's talk to Germany. Let's talk to Germany. Get, get some of their old tanks. I'm sure they got plenty lying around. Great, we're taking Pyongyang, which, uh, is a little bit further west than the ma a map would usually indicate, but okay. <laughs> oh, we're getting closer and closer. A few more minutes, though, and I'm going to end the episode, so we might not see Japan surrender just yet. Logistically, I'm fine. Let's start to build a couple destroyers. Just a couple teeny tiny destroyers. No big deal. Now here comes the question. Do I do assault or infiltration? I like that this increases motorized and mechanized infantry's defense, but I don't think I'll ever have enough to uh, really justify, enough factories to justify being able to build a mechanized army. So in the meantime, let's go keep working on industry. Alright, one puppet down, one puppet down. Finish up these pockets. Yeah, it's almost over. It's very close to over. Oh, Manchuko is also pursuing closer ties with Germany. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Greece has joined the Allies. Hold on, get down here to Pusan. Maybe we actually can finish it up in today's episode. No, we won't. We won't. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it at all. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take these guys, these ten divisions, and move them over here. Alright, can we switch everybody over yet? Sure. Okay. We have, now have yet another army available to us. Uh, let's get them up here. More lend lease from the United States. Wonderful. They like <laughs> they like the Generalissimo's wife. What can I say? Oh, we have another wounded general. But we're about to completely cut off Korea. We're gonna get we got a few more encirclements happening. Uh oh, naval invasion. Wait, I saw it. Where was it? Naval invasion in China somewhere. No. Do I just see things? Come on, Puyi. 
Come out of your come out of your palace. Right now they're at minus 10, so... Oh yeah, wait, no, 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 what's Germany at? Germany is at minus 10, so as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna want to... Um, yeah, as soon as I'm done with that... Did they already take Befriend Japan, actually? No. Now, wait a second, I want to see here. Okay, so they've taken Befriend, Befriend Japan. Japan. What, is that going to stop them from assisting me that's the question although i suppose if you look at it like it's private investors not the german government that's actually helping me i guess it could make sense it'll lose it is a little weird though if it turns out i can do that um okay let's start yeah more artillery our howitzer shells will blot out the sun all right, we have the Japanese have created a Pusan perimeter, you might call it, but it'll fold pretty quick here. But I think that's going to be enough for today's episode. So sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but we're going to have to check it out next time, uh, in which we will hopefully force the surrender of Japan. Because as I said before, it's my understanding that the way it works now is that if Japan gets pushed off of a uh, mainland china and manchuria and korea they're going to automatically capitulate so next episode we'll find out if that's true see you then bye